Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the 15th through the 21st. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't, sometimes only bits and pieces will be. Um, again, the timing is fluid, so, you know, it may resonate now, it may resonate later, whatever. I decided to use the Vice Versa deck for your reading, and I cut it to the star card. So, you know, you're thinking about your wish fulfillment, I believe. You're thinking about it. You may be losing hope. I feel like you've been through some stormy weather, but there's still an opportunity for love here. And you may be, you know, um... You may be thinking about um, something from your past, perhaps underneath it, the Ten of Cups. So, oh my gosh, the Ten of Cups underneath it. We're gonna do the the Celtic cross, so we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go back around. But the Ten of Cups, this is uh, emotional fulfillment. That's what you're thinking about, right? That's what's on your mind. That could be where you're headed towards, or, you know, you could be, I mean, this Ace of Cups, I don't know if it's coming or going, looks like it's coming in, looks like love is coming in, love is coming in, Pisces. Anyway, we're going to put this back in here, and we're going to shuffle, that just happened to be where I cut the deck. We're going to do the Celtic Cross, and then we're going to go back around again, this is for Pisces, what do we got? I have to look up when I shuffle these cards because, you know, there's stuff on both sides. And oh, What do we got for Pisces for the week ahead? Knight of Swords, moving fast. Have no fear. <laughs> I almost said something, but I stopped myself. Have no fear. Uh, somebody is coming to the rescue. All right, so yeah, it looks to me like this is somebody moving very, very quickly. <clears throat> no fear, no fear. Somebody is taking action, they're moving forward, and they're moving fast. The challenge is uh, learning new things, doing things differently, putting in more effort. Not quitting. Working hard. The challenge is putting in effort. Whoops, there's no reversals in this deck because there's stuff on both sides. Oh, Queen of Pentacles got her back turned. She's 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 not think she's looking forward. <laughs> Interesting. And you got your back turned too, huh? We got somebody who's really, really thinking. Definitely. A lot of thought going on this week. Thought of thinking about, like I said, that, that start wish fulfillment. What wish fulfillment is. We have somebody here that is in pretty deep, aren't they? They've got themselves in pretty deep. Blinded. By stupidity <laughs> or something like that somebody's confused you know they've made some sort of they didn't see a situation clearly it's like they they made a choice with their eyes closed now there's some pain I mean this is the three of swords Somebody's wanting to go back. So it looks to me like somebody is thinking about going back to somebody they hurt. Going back to the crime scene. Perhaps. Going back to the graveyard. You know, going to retrieve. Going to, you know, take those swords out of that heart. They're in the heart. Somebody may be going back. Things have been really stormy. There's still an opportunity, though, with a flower. When you see a flower in something that is so gray and meek, you know, there's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for love. Somebody's going back to a situation. They're probably going to face the storm. He is faced. Somebody's just, they're going to face the storm. i got to go back. i got to go back and face the storm. 
Look what this guy's looking at right here. So this guy's going back to face this storm. She's kind of, uh, she's turned her back on the situation completely. 100%. She's, this person's turned their back completely. Interesting. And then we got this juggler here. This is a player. We got this juggler who may have made a poor decision. We're going to go back around in a minute. We're just going to start right here. <laughs> so right now, somebody is, is getting ready to kick it into high gear. Somebody's kicking it into high gear. They're wanting to put in effort. They are. They want, and and they, may, they may want to prove themselves. It's like, I got something to show you. Can you just listen? Can you listen to me? So you, somebody may be wanting, you know, somebody to listen. And it feels, you know, there's been, somebody here has been left, is, is, is feeling distraught over the decisions that they've made. Going through a lot of conflict, feeling insecure. There's some regrets here, obviously. What am I going to do? How am I going to fix this? Somebody's trying to figure out how they're going to fix a, a, you know, mistake that they made of some sort. There's some, you know, some, there's an opportunity to, you know... You know, this guy may think that he's the victim. He may have seen himself as the victim, and now maybe he realizes, you know, he wasn't the victim. Here we have the Two of Cups. This is your mirror, okay? This is your perfect match. This is your soulmate in the past. This is somebody from your past, right? This is in your past. I feel like there's somebody from your past that is probably a soulmate, and, you know, this is your mirror. See how they're mirroring each other? They're, they're perfect for each other. They are, I mean, they're perfect for each other. They mirror each other with ease. They're very similar. They have a lot of the same qualities. They're, it's just an easy connection. Okay? That's in the past. So I think there's a past con uh, soulmate connection that somebody is probably wishing they could go back for. Back to. Okay? And here we, have, here we have the emperor. The emperor's got his back turned too. So we got somebody here that's been clinging to control. Trying to keep things under control. Probably very uh, stubborn. Uh, we got this guy who um, is really thinking about his next move. He's trying to plan his next move. Feels like the world is closing in around him. I feel like we have somebody here. This is this guy could be a business owner. This guy is the boss. It's the father. It's it's the man of. It's the very, you know, it's the. It's the king. It's the king. It's the real king. You know, it's the king of all kings. So anyway, we got this man that is, is going within to figure out his next move. He wants to make sure he makes the right move. And he may be turning his back on everything at this time to figure out what, you know, what is the best move. I think that there's some definite regrets here. I think there's some regrets and he may just want somebody to listen, but he knows he has to make the right move. You know, he's a very wise man. He is. So we have this very wise man who is coming up with a plan. That's for sure. And I feel like it might have to do with this person right here. This is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who has turned her back. Now this can go vice versa as well. So keep that in mind. I'm going, this is a female. This is a male. I'm saying male. You, you figure it out. Okay. This person's turned their back. This person is no longer invested. This person's focused on the future. You know, not interested. Here we have this uh, you. This is you. Uh, you know, probably feeling very emotional at this time. You may be feeling like, you know, I have something to offer. Will it? Will it be accepted? Will it be considered? Will Will I even be looked at? You know, I think that, you know, you're probably. Doing everything in your power to. You know, figure out how you can bring peace to a situation. Down here we have this Seven of Cups. This is making a poor choice. Obviously, this guy's like blinded. He's not. He didn't even, somebody made a poor choice, and there's consequences for that choice. It's a card of consequences. Because this woman or person who now has their back completely turned, no longer interested. And this person wants to face the storm and go back and, and take those swords out and, you know, patch this up. 
and you know this right here the two of pentacles is time of change to making a choice making a decision to you know bring balance this person wants to bring balance back to their life somebody has made a poor decision it's like now they want to now they want to fix it that's what it looks like to me we're going to go back around one more time the challenge is getting this person to listen it's like this person i'm somebody's ready to take action it's like they have no fear but will this person listen Will this person even listen? I don't know. Four of Swords. I think we have somebody here who who is sick of their sick of it you know I'm just sick of it I'm just sick of uh, dealing with this pain I'm sick of it uh, that's what I keep hearing I'm sick of it distraught lonely we have this lonely individual who's made a I think, I mean, they go to the Three of Swords, to the Four of Swords, somebody has hurt another person, and they probably regret it. They wasted some time. Somebody, and this is yin and yang with a soulmate. So I feel like somebody has wasted some time with a soulmate, and they probably regret it, and they want to take action. We're going to go back around. I'm going to fix them in a minute because they're not really reversed. There's that Ace of Cups. Ooh! King of Pentacles right next to the King of Cups. Okay. So, yeah, there's been some deception here. There's been some deception. There's been some cheating. There's been some lies. Somebody has been... Somebody was a shady, sneaky individual, and they think they got away with something. But in fact, you know, I think that they now have had some rude awakening. There's some rude awakening here that this person has turned their back and probably has another option. So I think that somebody has gotten a rude awakening that they missed the boat. They missed the boat. When somebody else has come in with a <laughs> opportunity. So I really feel as though <laughs> we have somebody that is probably going to find the strength and the courage. Look at that devil. We got the empress facing the devil. This is the strength card, but this is the empress and this is the devil. That's amazing here. So we could be dealing with a Leo. We could be dealing with a Taurus. We could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Libra, but this this guy is regretting, you know, not finding the strength and the courage to communicate. Uh, he's probably regretting wasting his time, missing the boat. You know, now he's all by himself. He wants to take action. Maybe he's going to take action, but will this person even listen? Somebody went from two to one. And this person's doing quite well. This person and somebody else is, is, is interested in this person. So I think we have a, a, a person that dropped the ball. Okay. They dropped the ball. And the person that they love is probably doing quite well on their own. And very abundant. You know, living life to the fullest. I mean... This person's been talking to the moon and has got another uh, interest right here. So I feel like we have uh, a person that has turned their back on this fool. They have moved on and now we have another person that...
realizes the love connection. They realize the mistake and they want to come back and fix it. But this is a major completion. I think the person that you're dealing with may have already turned their back completely. It's over. So Pisces, I feel like this is a week of, you know, <coughs> you could be dealing with an individual, and this could be you, that is going to have some, some a major eye-opener. I mean, this is a rude awakening. There could be some upheaval in a person's life, whether it's yours or another person's, that changes everything. This changes everything, okay? There's going to be a, a rude awakening for somebody, whether it's for this person or it's for you. Somebody is getting a rude awakening that somebody has moved on completely. Somebody has moved on. They missed the boat. But, you know, I feel like I feel like somebody's going to try. Somebody's going to come back. They, they, there's the boat. <laughs> That's so funny. The boat's in this one. I just noticed. That's funny. Here they're going to face the storm. And I went to clarify and we got the boat. <laughs> That's funny. The boat's, the boat's still in sight. It's still there. There's still time. There's still time to get on that boat. So apparently there is still time to get on the boat, even though we got this person who's completely turned their back. But I guess there's still time to get on the boat um, because there's still love. Okay, there is. The Ace of Cups is here. There's an op There's love. There's opportunity for, I mean, the Ace of Cups can be new love or it can be a reconciliation. This is love. So I think that, you know, externally somebody made a poor decision. They're, they're in deep, they're in deep, deep water, deep, deep shit, you might as well say. And, you know, now they're, they're in the process of deciding, you know, of choosing, you know, God, what do I do? How, what do I do about the feelings, the love that I have? You know, do, can I swim out to that boat? I don't know if you can. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, has two options, okay? You and another person. Whoever you're dealing with has two options, and I think it's it's... It's because, you know, pride and ego might have been a problem. This guy is regretting his, I mean, this is ego. This is, this is a card of ego. So pride and ego may have gotten in the way of happiness. So I feel like we have somebody here that is turning their back. Okay. They're leaving. They're leaving. This could be the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with, if this if you were the Pisces woman, you could be dealing with a masculine. This, the emperor is a masculine, and I don't care what the rest of you say. I really don't. The emperor is leaving, whoever this man is. And this could be you if you're the Pisces male. <clears throat> you could be moving on. You could be like, I'm out of here. But if you are the Pisces female, this could be your husband. This could be... Your partner, this could be a boss, this could be a male figure in your life. He's leaving. He's leaving. He's going. He's gone. He's moving on. <clears throat> and it may leave you in your feelings. It may leave you in your feelings. It may, may leave you feeling like you need to retreat and you can't look at anybody. You can't talk to anybody. You don't even want to be around anybody. This person may have headed towards this other person. I don't know. Or this person could have decided, you know what, I gotta, I gotta be practical here. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody that is headed towards love, okay? Whether it's you or the other person. I mean, this is the Ace of Cups, so this is love. So love is coming in. Whether it's for you or the other person, this is emotional fulfillment. It's an, it's an offer of love. So somebody is probably making an, a. a uh, a genuine, I think it is a genuine offer of love to somebody that is hurting. Definitely. So I don't know what this means, but I see a major completion in your life, a major change. This is completion and this is change. 
and it's major with the world card. You are about to embark on a new journey. It could lead to um, a reconciliation or a new love. I feel like you or somebody else is turning your back on another person because... I don't know why, because it's over. There's there's, there's no, it's over. There's Somebody missed the boat, you know what I mean? It's like the love has died. The, I mean, that guy looks almost dead to me. I looked at it multiple times. I looked on both sides. I mean, he looks like he's just about dead. So it's like it's like the love has died. You wasted your time, and now, I, now I'm focused on a new boat. So I think that we have somebody that is, is slipping away. I do. I think we have somebody that is slipping away. It could happen, you know, at any time. It could. I mean, this is at night time. I think we have somebody that is slipping away. They're moving on. And that there's going to be some sort of rude awakening that it's too late. That it's too late. Um, but I guess it's not because we still have the boat is still here. There's there's probably an opportunity to save the, save the situation, to still get on the boat, whatever that means. I feel as though we have a partnership that was a soulmate connection. It ended, and, and we have one person here that is doing extremely well on their own. And now we have somebody else that would like to come back, and they're hoping, you know, this person will just listen to them. You know, explain. This is listen. Can you just listen and, and, and let me explain? Um... This all comes about because of some sort of, it's almost like upheaval. It's like there's some sort of upheaval in this person's life that makes this person reach out. Whatever that means. Somebody is going to find the strength and the courage. and the, No doubt, these are both strength and courage. Somebody is going to find the strength and courage to take action. They probably have been getting, getting been getting prepared as to how they have been as to how they were going to move forward, how they were going to do this. They may come in, whoever this person is, is maybe coming in with something in their hands. You know, maybe it's a ring, maybe, maybe it's a gift. I mean, the King of Pentacles comes with something in his hand. He don't come empty handed. He doesn't. King of Pentacles don't come empty handed. And uh, anyway, there's love here. Somebody is, is going to find love. For sure. The Ace of Cups, this is new love. Or a reconciliation. So somebody is headed towards love. And it could, it could be you or it could be the person that you're dealing with. There's a major ending here. That is the world card is the last card in the deck. We have somebody in this reading, whether it's you or the person that you are thinking about as I am doing this reading. This is over. Somebody is starting a new life. They're taking that next step. They're choosing one option because you see the other one is now covered. They're making a choice. Somebody is making a choice and it has to do with moving on to balance and harmony, to, to a peaceful, to peace. It's like I'm, I'm moving on to a more peaceful situation. So you could be dealing with the Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is here pretty big because we have the King, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, when we get the two of the same side, we sign. We definitely have a soulmate connection here, and we have a soulmate. We definitely have a soulmate connection here. You know who it is. There's an opportunity for love after making a poor choice. I guess the boat is still here. I can't guarantee that, but it looks as though it still is. There's been a lot of emptiness. There's been a lot of sadness. 
but I think the opportunity is still there. Um, somebody's going to get a wake-up call. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. <laughs> they are. That tower is a rude awakening. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security. They held on to something that wasn't real. And this one has turned their back. Not interested. Not interested in any false bullshit. There's definitely a soulmate connection here. And somebody ain't happy about it. So, hmm. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It will. Look at this. This Queen of Pentacles. She's turned her back. She has. And this one's now coming in with an offer. And here you are. You're here too. So it's like, uh-oh. Got, you got competition, Pisces. You turn your back on her. She turned her back on you. He ain't, he got something. You turned your back on her. She turned her back on you. His back ain't turned. So I think that somebody, you know, has to make a choice here before the ship has actually, like, sailed. I mean, the ship is, it won't go out very much farther to go before it's gone. I mean, this guy's got something in his hand. He comes with something in his hand. And he's commitment. He know, he he's about commitment. He's, a, he's an earth sign. So anyway, I feel as though we have somebody here that is needing to make a choice. This is a choice. And so isn't this one. There's consequences for this choice. This love, you, you, there is. How much You want to get in over your head? You want to drown in your mistakes? Or you want to go after love? I mean, there's love here. Anyhow, there's an opportunity for love. Let's get one more card. I don't know. Somebody's going to get a rude awakening. Somebody is with that tower card. I mean, somebody's held on to a false sense of security, and it's all about to crash. Crash, bang, boom. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There is an opportunity to fix something. I don't know with who. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Stay optimistic. I think that... We definitely have a soulmate connection here with the yin and the yang and the two of cups and the king and queen of pentacles. This is a soulmate connection in which two people, you know, have probably turned their back on each other. And there's an opportunity to reconcile and fix it if this person actually, you know, finds that courage to, you know, deal with the problems they have caused. Because I feel like we have another person here that is completely moving on. Stepping over that finish line. I have made the choice that this is over. So anyway, Pisces, that's what I have. I see, I see a major cycle completing in your life. Definitely. With that 21. I mean, there we have a chapter, a book that is closing. Change is on the horizon. Change is on the horizon. That's what this is. Change is on the horizon. Major change.
somebody's headed out. 